ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल जय हिंद उधर आई एम ऑडियोबल गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग उधर आई एम ऑडियोबल एंड माई डेस्कटॉप इज विजिबल प्लीज समन रिप्लाई ओके 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 so today we will be learning basic simulation basic simulation of vector control okay so already so many things we have learned now finally we will be simulating it see yesterday we have learned all the governing equations required for the vector control that is total nine equations we have learned one uh, two equations are for stator voltage equation two equations are for stator flux equation two equations are for rotor voltage equation two equations are for rotor flux equation and one equation for the instantaneous torque equation now here i have taken the equation of the uh, rotor direct axis okay if you see if you remember the first class i have told the rotor bar at the end it is short circuited through a ring which is called short circuit ring so as the rotor bars are short circuited <coughs> and the resistance if we can neglect then the voltage across it should zero should be zero so this is basically vrd and vrq both are zero because rotor bars are short circuited now if you remember in the last class what we need to achieve the vector control to achieve the vector control we need that the machine is to be operated as separately excited dc machine to do so the torque equation of induction machine is to be converted as a separately excited dc machine to do so i have to make psi rq zero i have to make psi rq to zero so in that voltage equation if i make this is zero then this term is cancelled out only remaining part is rr ird plus d dt of psi rd is equal to zero now this psi rd Once psi R Q becomes zero, the psi R D is basically producing responsible for the magnetization. But as I told, there is no galvanic connection between the stator and rotor, <coughs> means it is isolated. Then this flux is induced through the mutual part, and this is my I M R. I have written I M R. That is my magnetization part. So just this psi R D, I have split it into. I have written as the product of L M into I A I M R. Okay. So you know the rotor getting magnetized by the mutual part. 
Now the equation of psi R D. The equation of psi R D is equal to L R. If 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 you can if you remember, it is L R R I R D plus L M into I S D. Okay. So that is already we understand why it is. I am writing this L M into I M R because. Now the total flux is nothing but the total rotor flux is psi R D because psi R Q is zero. For vector control, I am making psi R Q zero. So from this, if I equate the value of I R D, it is coming like this. Then this I R D, I am putting here in this equation. Then you see L M and L M is cancelled out both side, and it is. R R by L R, so basically L R R L by R. That is the rotor time constant. So this is written as this is called inverse rotor time constant. Okay, so this differential equation is very simple, no complication. Because we we taken the uh, uh, rotor direct axis voltage equation, and as I told the rotors are short circuited through short circuit ring, so the voltage across it is neglected, and I have taken it as zero. And to achieve the vector control, we need to make psi r q zero. So in that equation, I put that psi r q zero. So the equation is converted like this. Now, as the psi r q is zero, so the total rotor flux is nothing but the psi r d. So that only producing the magnetization component. So that I am writing as because magnetization is happening through mutual part, and I m r is the magnetizing current. So we are recalling the. Rotor direct axis flux equation, and here we are substituting the psi R D as L M into I M R, and from this I am finding the value of psi R D, which is very simple is this this one, and this value I am substituting here, and after that the differential equation is converted like this. Okay, so here this tau R is the Rotor time constant, and if you take, if you, if you, if you take the Laplace domain, so this will be something like this. Now, if you apply the final value theorem, that means s tends to zero, then I M R is is equal to I S T. <coughs> that means. At steady state, is very important. For any induction machine, at steady state, the magnetizing current is nothing but the stator direct axis current. You should remember, at steady state, the Magnetizing current is nothing but the stator direct axis current. Now I am taking the. So already we proved I M R is equal to I S D at steady state. Now if we if I Take the rotor quadrature axis voltage equation. Again, that is also is equal to zero. And for vector control, we are making psi r q zero. So this term cancelled out. And what is this? Synchronous speed minus rotor mechanical speed that I am defining as a slip, omega slip. So that is, it is going this 
R R into I R Q another side, and it is like this by psi R D. Very simple. Now psi R Q. This is the equation of psi R Q for vector control. That is zero. So my I R Q from here. IRQ is equal to minus LM by LRR into ISQ. That IRQ I am substituting here. If I substitute, it is coming like this. Okay. So this minus and this minus become plus. And this psi RD I wrote as LRR into IMI. But already we we derived that IMR is ISD at steady state. So omega slip omega slip is equal to again RR by LR is equal to 1 by tau R into ISQ by ISD. Now if I add if I add omega R with the omega slip then we will get omega S. Basically what is omega SL? omega sl is equal to omega s plus sorry minus omega r with that if you add again omega r then it will be cancelled so omega s is equal to d theta s by dt now if you integrate this factor and integrate with respect to time then we will get the angle this is the instantaneous angle of the this is the instantaneous angle of the rotor flux which is aligned with the direct axis of synchronous rotating reference frame you remember our previous lecture so why we did all these calculations because for the vector control this frame this is dq the entire frame is rotating with the synchronous speed and say somewhere rotor flux is here now we have aligned it we have aligned it this rotor flux now it is not here now I have aligned here okay and the instantaneous angle that angle say you can this angle I am estimating from this <coughs> got it so I will summarize once again you listen carefully so to understand the to to achieve the vector control mathematically or theoretically we have to make the rotor quadrature axis flux to zero that is psi rq zero we know the rotor bars are short circuited so the rotor the voltage across it is zero so vrd and vrq always zero so we take first the stator uh, quadrature uh, uh, direct axis uh, voltage equation they are substituted the value of psi rq is equal to zero and the psi rd as the total rotor flux which is coming from the magnetization so which is nothing but the product of mutual part into magnetization current from there we have substituted the IRD then you put in the differential equation then we apply the final value theorem and we have achieved that the magnetization current is nothing but the state of direct axis current at steady state now you took the quadrature axis rotor voltage equation from there we have 
again we have substituted this irq as 0 and vrq as 0 as it is short, short circuited and we have find out the omega slip <coughs> omega slip is coming like this then as we already established that magnetization current is nothing but the state at axis current we, st at steady state we have substituted that then we add the omega r with the omega slip so things will be remaining as omega s which is d theta s by dt and if you and if you integrate it with respect to time i will find out the i will able to find the uh, instantaneous rotor flux position as well as the instantaneous angle with the reference to the direct axis of synchronous rotating reference frame so if i able to do these things uh, somehow then will be our vector control is achieved so for that what i will do now you remember one class i have taken entirely for abc to dq so you sense the three phase current so this is abc to dq we need theta this theta is this theta okay <coughs> you take abc you take theta from this estimation you will get the id and iq so to do these things we have done all these applications all these calculations now i will show you as i was telling that one of my student from uh, srm university he did uh, that um, uh, same thing he implemented in my lab so this is the motor loading setup and we need to because if you see we are adding the o omega slip plus omega r <coughs> this is the rotor mechanical speed so we have to sense the motor speed so that's why you see at the non-driving end this is one this is called one shaft incremental encoder <coughs> it is added to sense the rpm okay and this is the inverter this is a simple three phase two level inverter okay so this is the driver this all the three drivers each leg so each uh, each leg having two switches complementary switches and you see these are the igvt this is the controller so now it is a clear view so these are the igvts these are the igvt that white color and this is the driver I think the driver core is Infineon core and this IGVT may be Semicron and these are the snubber capacitors for power circuit production that I will teach you in one class how to calculate this snubber circuit and this is the bus bar you see they have used the sliced bus bar it's called sandwiched bus bar so to, 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 to nullify the uh, inductance the stray inductance to nullify the stray inductance of the conductor they have used uh, they have designed that uh, sliced uh, sliced bus bar to give the connection interconnection for the interconnection of the IGVT okay so DC voltage is coming from the rectifier through this bus bar which will which will uh, help a lot for uh, electromagnetic uh, that conductive what is called electromagnetic interference conductive and radiative both <coughs> see this is one more close view this is the heat sink so they have calculated the losses and they have 
that also I will show you or in my channel if you uh, in my channel if you browse the detailed video is there in simulation method and how to calculate the heat sink size from the market whatever the data sheet it is available that the thermal resistance is given so from the thermal resistance how to calculate the size of the heat sink how much length it will be there this is a convective heat transfer this is a part of uh, heat transfer so that is there in my channel uh, heat sink selection of inverter something like that one video is there you can see that if you want to know in details you see these are during assembling they have tested individual IGBT whether it is working or not giving a small DC voltage so you see first the this is the heat sink on the heat sink that IGBT is fixed then they have connected these are the drivers and this is the power side this is the auxiliary supply for the driver this is a clear view okay again this is clear view you see this is the sandwiched bus bar in between two bus bar they have used some dielectric the selection of dielectric also very important the geometry you have to simulate it you have to consider the current density so that you can define the current carrying capacity of the bus bar and there is some there is some adhesive also used that is Dow Corning Dow Corning adhesive so that selection also very important what what composition it will be there how the dielectric will be very it is very uh, detail engineering detail mathematics and detail engineering is there to uh, um, uh, design a sandwich bus bar if you see in IEEE also maybe two or three paper we can get on that not more than that <coughs> this is on the sandwich bus bar it is used in used in medium voltage drive so this is the uh, presentation this is the presentation about uh, basic simulation of uh, vector control Uh, or the controller connected to the gate driver connected to the gates driver yeah driver is connected to the I have closed it my this one yeah driver is connected to the gate and emitter and in the driver is a driver core there is a there is an isolated part sir please send attendance link oh some people are very much important about attendance attendance will be <coughs> now i am coming to the simulation part is <coughs> it this is the this part is the inverter part so here i am sensing the three phase currents this is the induction motor okay the three phase current is sensed and this is the block this is the this is the uh, this is the filter i have used one filter it's a 
second order low pass filter because these currents are coming from the PWM signal because these are the PWM the motor is fitted through the inverter it's a PWM signal so a lot of noises will be there okay so for that I have used the filter and you know in ABC to DQ I need the theta the theta is estimated from here I will tell you already we have learned the mathematics and we will see how it is and this is your ID and IQ this is the command for the flux because we will be operating the machine so this loop is called direct axis loop this ID is coming from here so based on the motor data sheet or the flux I am setting the flux then that is compared with the instantaneous ID you know the ID IRD is responsible for the flux it is comparing and there is a PI so how it is getting tuned that is for that a separate uh, lecture is there I will tell you in detail then again it is going to a DQ to ABC so again you know this DQ to ABC need the theta that theta same theta this theta and this theta are same after that whatever it is producing here also I am using one limiter to restrict the transient which is generating the modulating signal for the PWM controller and this is the switching frequency and it is producing the pulse these pulses are given here very simple so this is the quadrature axis sorry this is the direct axis now in the quadrature axis in quadrature axis slightly complicated you see here setting I am setting the RPM and this RPM is sensed through the encoder as I told in the picture we have seen so this is the RPM I have sensed compared there is another PI okay so this is compared and it is generating the IRQ command okay so this IRQ taken from here why it is k k is minus 1 because practically this value of quadrature current is negative so that's why to make positive I have used this block this minus 1 1 gain is given after that it is again compared and it is going to this block okay now how to estimate the theta already we have learnt it theta is nothing but the first we have to calculate the ratio of IRQ and I I I uh, I is uh, I SQ and ISD so you see I have used one you see I have used one uh, division block so here I am taking ISD and divided by sorry ISQ divided by ISD you see ISD is taken from here now this is multiplied by inverse rotor time constant so let us see inverse rotor time constant so what is that inverse rotor time constant r by l so here r is what rotor resistance this is uh, sorry rotor resistance is 0 0.156 point 0.156 divided by leakage plus mutual sorry self plus mutual so 0 0.041 plus 0 0.0074 which is around 3.7 
so i will give this value <coughs> 3.7 now we have to this is the rpm so we have to convert that rpm into omega radian per second so we have to multiply by pi n by 30 so pi where is pi so this is pi by 30 so it is 0 0.104 so you see it is 0 0.104 i have given and as this is all the calculation i am here control i am doing in doing at stator side okay i am doing it in stator side so we have to and we are measuring the rpm from the rotor side so we have to multiply by pole by 2 so that's why i given 3 if you see the motor this is six pole motor and i am adding so if i divide the isq by isd multiplied with the inverse rotor time constant we will get omega slip with that omega slip if i add this is the adding block if you add the omega r we will get omega s that if you integrate it we will get theta that's theta is given there whatever we learned in the theory same thing i have done here so now let us simulate it see how nicely very nicely the motor is getting accelerated if you recall the vyf control so it is something like that like that accelerated now is we will see the current you see the current is very gently restricted earlier it was going six to seven times but it is still i have set the current as 16 ampere yeah so it is 16 ampere around 20 whatever only so you see very nicely it is motor started soft starting so this is the simulation whatever we have learned so far with that only way we implemented the control <coughs> yeah for that pi regulator for the pi regulator tuning i will take a separate class when a separate one lecture is there because to tune that pi you need to you do the system identification and it is so tightly coupled that is not very quick easily it is possible okay attendance attendance as college mobile
no no actually i am not uh, uh, i am not a uh, fund of publishing the paper because publishing the paper is nothing it is if you see most of the because i have uh, lots of so many research scholars okay tss get your student publish no 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 i will uh, uh, i will not tell my student to publish you see the publishing uh, with simulation software have you used this is pcm software publish if you take i am telling you take very good ieee transaction papers also among among the i am telling you only 0.1% paper will really work they have made okay that will work other remaining papers are not at all working this paper work uh, software is to yeah pcm 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 so this publications paper publications is destroying our technology i am telling you you forget about uh, that uh, small engineering college you go to big uh, good government uh, engineering colleges and iits very several they, they will be talking ieee paper and all these things you take <coughs> you take the name of that uh, uh, one author of that paper you ask simply you fire a igbt there is a pwm you apply a dc voltage across it you fire it they can't they can't actually it's from my experience i am telling that's why you see earlier g siemens snider all these people they are publishing the paper so people are more concentrated on that now those companies who are the real performer they have stopped to publish paper they strictly told their employees not to publish any paper because this is this is drastically damaging the uh, technology that we don't want to know anything but we want a paper that only the things it is very very disgusting for me so that's why i will not uh, told the uh, things my students and uh, these things uh, not to publish the paper okay now some times are there because i was thinking to show you the uh, sign pwm generation that we'll see in the next class now any question is there you can ask i will be answering now time is there for uh, Five six minutes are there. If you have any question, you can ask. Thank you so much. Any question, you can ask. see i am not discouraging i am not discouraging the publishing work i am telling you first implement the things you see when you are going to industry when you will be going to industry they will not take you based on your paper okay you have to perform sir how rotor quadrature flux is zero r instantaneous angle is used to make it zero no 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 rotor quadrature axis flux we are making to zero here where we do the current sensing you see I, I, from the simulation i have uh, i have done the current sensing in the simulation from inverter when it is going to motor before that i you in between i have i have used the pcm software okay which controller have used for pid or <laughs> say first you you should understand how tune pid then you go to lqr and uh, gaussian lqg and all you see those are the things when you are deviating from the concept of 
the classical control you see algebraic ricardi equation if it is crossing uh, um, uh, second order how difficult uh, to solve it you know so you are uh, going to when a simple pi controller is sufficient to uh, cater the purpose you are talking about lq or any and, and lqg it's 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 absurd i am telling this is the problem this is the problem with our student and learners not at all required here concept of stochastics is not at all required a pi is sufficient enough to cater the purpose if you want to do that it is a unnecessary things <coughs> it can be done you see that's why i'm telling to solve the algebraic ricardi equation it's very very difficult if the order is higher than 2 so lqr lqg all this h infinity all these things are not required i am telling you simple pi is sufficient i will be telling you how to identify the system how to reduce the uh, order of the system because the higher order system will again uh, increase the uh, transient uh, and it is uh, the disturbance rejection capability will be poor so we will be reducing the higher order transfer function to first order so that the overall transfer the closed loop transfer function becomes second order we will be assuming the natural frequency and from there we will be uh, tuning the controller getting late for college classes okay i think some people uh, sir but this is a non-linear motor and this we need to non-linear no that's why i am telling you it is to be linearized and if you know the uh, dynamics of the machine properly then you can linearize it within its uh, uh, operating range you see i have in the simulation i have used only simple pi and frankly telling i have the experience to tune more than 50 medium voltage drives medium voltage drives okay the drive yeah 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 it is not required lqr is not required you just i am telling you i am telling you you just solve a algebraic ricardi equation of second order you take any one of the loop you take the flux loop it is the very easiest loop you take the flux flux loop and you solve the uh, algebraic ricardi equation then you tell me why i will burden unnecessarily that's why i'm telling you i will tell you the method how to linearize it and seriously i'm telling i have tuned the medium voltage drive a single drive is not less than the capacity of one megawatt and i have perfectly tuned it i will show you that uh, uh, everything that uh, Magnetizing inductant is variable flux. We can the magnetizing inductance is variable of flux. We can model that in PCM. We can um, uh, model it, but we have to direct block is not there, so we have to use um, some coding. It is possible. <coughs> So I think uh, time is over so we will terminate here today I'll, I'll be terminating the session so uh, we'll, we'll see tomorrow. So hope you have understand something uh, I, I whatever I told something you um, able to understand and you try to do the simulation the same thing in PCM or Simulink or any other place you can do the simulation and check it so this is only for three phase induction motor yeah i am talking about three phase only <coughs> three phase induction motor only thank you
थैंक यू आदि या दिस इज फॉर थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर द सिमुलेशन आई हैव शोन यू फॉर थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर 